your special edition of In The Sheds, where today I'll be going one-on-one -on -one with NRL CEO David Smith. We'll talk about rugby league growth here in the Riverina, state of origin, and much, much more. David, welcome to uh, In The Sheds, mate. It's a pleasure to have you along. Thanks so much for inviting me. I'm happy to be here. Uh, first trip to Wagga. What have you made, for it, uh, made of it so far? Yeah, great. Well, I brought a bit of sunshine with me, although it looks like it's going to cool off a bit now. Probably, probably be raining for tomorrow, I reckon, but that's been fantastic. I've met, I've met great people. You know, I've... Uh, I've had a bit of a tour around, I'm at the council, I've met, I've met the, uh, the federal, federal minister, so it's been good, it's been good so far. You have been down at council, uh, what was discussed down there today? Oh, very constructive discussion, I think a lot of work's gone on in the background, I think the country rugby league guys uh, and Wagga rugby league have done a great job of kind of thinking through how we can move the game to the next level, so I mean principally it was about the kind of medium, longer term future for rugby league and how we can work together between us, between council, between federal and state politicians, you know, how can we work together to make sure that we can, one, develop the game and grow the game, but two, also, you know, for the NRL to bring premium games here, you know, what, what are the facilities that we need and how do we get to that point? So it was a really, really constructive discussion based on the back of a lot of hard work that's, that's gone to date. So. How important is rugby league in the country? Uh, crucial. It's as simple as that. I think, uh, you know, common sense tells you that you've got to get the foundation strong and, you know, we've got this you know, wonderful game at, our premiership is a fantastic um, experience and, and we've got Origin, you've got Grand Final, you've got all of the stuff. We've got Kangaroos this year, but all of that is only relevant if you if you build strong foundations. And I think uh, I'm out and about, I've been out and about visiting a number of junior sides and country sides and it's just phenomenal the people that are involved in our game, the 100,000 volunteers we've got. You know, these are wonderful people and they keep the game alive. It's the lifeblood of the game and, and, and we need to do as much as we possibly can to support it. The junior base is very good here in the River Arena and obviously, as you said, it's important to keep them involved. Uh, what's the way about going to get, keep those juniors involved? Because there are so many sporting options out there now. Yeah, look, I, I think there are. And I, I think, um, you know, we've got to make sure we've got strong, solid competitions. We've got to make sure that, you know, as these kids come up through the ranks, that they've got very clear pathways and they, you know, they know where they're headed. And if they want to you know, if they want to head up to the NYC or they want to head into State Cup or they want to head up to, you know, be an NRL player, then we've got to be really clear about where we're heading. That, that's not just about the players, that's about the coaches, it's about, you know, all the big referees involved in the game. So I think we've got to be really clear. I think the pathways are pretty good, I think they're pretty strong, but I reckon there's, we, can, we can do a bit more. I think we've got to make sure the facilities are strong. We've got to make sure that, uh, you know, make it as easy as possible for, for people to play, as easy as possible for parents to take their kids to play. Uh, and we've just got to make sure we're focused on it. There's some great people involved in the game and, and uh, we've got to make sure we're looking after the volunteers as well so they keep volunteering and, and you know, we keep taking the game forward because, as you say, it's a competitive landscape. Of course, uh, we said about city country and uh, possibilities. There are talks that it could come to Wagga next year, but there are other places uh, in bids for it as well. Uh, what does Wagga have to offer? Have, have you found out today that Wagga has to offer to get that city country game here? Well, look, I think first and foremost, very committed to um, bringing regional games uh, out to the country, out to the bush, I think is a crucial part of the answer to the previous question in terms of how important it is. I think it's, uh, uh, we, we will continue to do that. City to Country is one example. I think there are lots of other examples whereby we can bring, we can bring that kind of first grade type, type game here to the bush. So very important, I think, that. In terms of City Country, I think we're going to make a decision in the next two weeks, and I think the Country Rugby League board will make that decision in the next couple of weeks for next year. But, but longer term, there's a real commitment from us um, to make sure that we continue to uh, be involved with the local communities, make sure we are bringing the game out, that we are making sure that there's this kind of wider exposure. And in order to do that, the facilities need to be strong. Um, you know, if we're going to bring first grade games, we need to make sure the facilities are strong, both you know, the, the, where the athletes are going to stay and the gyms, but also the, you know, the McDonald's Stadium. We've got to make sure that's up to scratch. So I think they're the things that we've got to put in place now so that it does give us options. I think first and foremost, Wagga's heartland. It's, you know, it's, it's got a rich history of uh, rugby league and it's generated some wonderful, wonderful players. So, you know, we want the next 50 years to be as strong as the last 50 years. So I think it fundamentally fits into our landscape. And we've got to make sure that we, we've, we've built the infrastructure and we've got, you know, we've got a strong game here. So it gives options so that I can bring games, but I'm committed to bringing games. Five, minute, five months into the job, uh, how have you enjoyed it so far as CEO and what's been one of your toughest challenges? Oh, look, I'm, I've said I've got, I've got the, uh, the best job in Australia. I mean, I'm in a privileged position. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm the person responsible for taking the greatest game of all to, to, to its next level and I think... Uh, you know, there's not very many people get the opportunity to do that. So I'm very lucky and I know how lucky I am. Uh, it's, been, I mean, it's been hard work. These big jobs are hard work and I've, 
you know, I've managed to get around the, the country a little bit, and I've, I've, I've visited lots of junior clubs. I've really enjoyed that. You know, I've, uh, I've managed to go see a, a fair few of the uh, the Premiership matches as well. And you know, I'm lucky enough to have just gone through the most successful Origin series ever. So you know, as five months go, yeah, it's been a few challenges, but I mean, the upside of it has been been phenomenal. And I took the job because this is such a wonderful game, with wonderful people, and we've got the best athletes, we've got the best volunteers, you know, we've got the we've got the best game. So uh, nothing that I, I see, everything that I've seen tells me just how right I was with that. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited about the future. We'll quickly touch on Origin, of course, Queensland the other night making it eight straight. Do you think it's a good thing for the game, or is it a bad thing for the game as far as Origin is concerned? Uh, what I can say is that series was phenomenal. Um, I, mean, I was on the edge of my seat. I'm relatively neutral given my position, but I was on the edge of my seat. You know, to to see a game with passion, to with the emotion, with the contact and physicality that we saw, and the you know the real rivalry, but played in such wonderful spirit. I mean. Uh, that's just an, an example of a wonderful game of footy and you know New South Wales of course would be disappointed I think they put a lot in and if you looked at the ebbs and flows of the game it could easily have gone either way and it didn't um, but I think in terms of taking anything away from the competition geez it added to it I, I, I thought it was just been a phenomenal series we had nearly four and a half million people watch it on TV and I think you know half a million of those were were down in Victoria so the games people want to see the game and I, and I think that was just a wonderful example a big talking point at the moment, of course, is uh, Benji Marshall and him uh, wanting to, a release from his contract and, and possibly heading out of the game. We've uh, lost Israel Folau, who is still a possibility to come back at some stage. Sonny Bill had left at one stage and he's now back. How important is, is it for the NRL and what are you guys doing about it to try and keep these sort of superstar players or real standouts in, in the game? Well, you know, I'm, I'm very committed to grassroots footy and to making sure we've got strong foundations, and we talked a bit about that. And equally, you know, we want to make sure that we're, we're attractive to, to the world's best athletes, and I think um, we want to make sure that athletes come into our game, and, and preferably they stay in, stay in the game, they stay in the rugby league family. But a big part of the strategy is to increase, to be much more inclusive about people that come into our game. And if you're in the, in the game, make it so that you, know, you want to stay here. I mean, I, I'm sad to see Benji go. I think he's, uh, you know, he's been a great role model on the field, great player, uh, you know, and, he, and he's been a great role model off the field too. He's a great leader, and so, you know, it's sad that he's reached the decision he's reached. And I've made it clear to him the door's always open. So, yeah, of course we want we want to keep players like that. I mean, everybody's going to make their own personal decision at the end of the day. You know, Sonny Bill, geez, I'm again what an athlete, um, just a phenomena, and you know, privileged to watch run onto the park and. You know how many of those have we got in, in rugby league? There's lots of athletes of that kind of caliber, but he, he's right up there. And you know, I re really hope that he he'll want to stay with the game and stay with the Roosters and and, and and do what he does. So I think going forward, you know, we've we've got to be an attractive sport. We've got to be able, we've got to make sure that we're doing all the things we need to do to to keep these athletes in the game because, you know, at the end of the day, that's what creates the excitement. That's what creates. The spectacle that's what makes makes people want to come back and back again and again but at the same time you've got to recognize that you know per, people make personal decisions the world we live in um, you know athletes are able to, to play multi sports and, and, and I suspect that you'll see more of that sort sort, sort of thing as um, you know as the world develops even further so we've we've got to be flexible enough such that we can uh, we've got the environment where, where we do keep people in, and we really want them to stay and you know uh, me more than anybody <laughs> wants to make sure we've got uh, w that these players feel that they can stay with us. Now, of course, uh, one thing we didn't see, I guess, too much of in the media, but it has been a real positive for rugby league, and that's the Gillaroos, who is uh, the Australian Women's Rugby League team. They've just taken out the World Cup over in the UK. You had a chance to go over there for a, a few days as well. Uh, tell us about the experience over there with the Gillaroos. Oh, I think that the experience with the Gillaroos for me started just a, a, a little bit before. For the first time, you know, the Gillaroos are part of the rugby league family properly in terms of part of the NRL. Uh, so, uh, you know, we gave them a good send off at the uh, the airport, and uh, GI turned up, and I know the girls were really proud that, that he turned up, and he told them how you know how much how much how highly they were thought of, and how much he really, you know he was he was behind them. So that was the kind of start point. I was lucky enough to go down and see the Gillaroos and the police, the students, armed forces. Uh, I didn't see the wheelchairs, even though they were down at the World Cups as well. But the games I saw were phenomenal, and the attitude and spirit, and uh, yeah, just the sheer camaraderie across all of those teams actually working together in the UK, and the uh, you know the example that they set down there, both the way they played, uh, and as a result of that, you know, we brought back four World Cups. So 
but the way they play, but also just the, the example they set across the kind of that global community was just phenomenal. So I'm really proud of them. They they were they they agreed to come to Origin, or four of the girls came to Origin with me on uh, on Wednesday, and I gave them a big hug. You know, I think they they've done a fantastic job, and they, they you know those people have have done a lot to be where they are. They've given up a lot. You know, they they they're prop, you know real proper role models in terms of the, the top of their sport, but have given up a lot to be there, and we're going to support them as much as we can. It was definitely uh, very pleasing to see. Very, yeah, very pleasing fantastic. To see. Uh, before we let you go, mate, uh, the game of NRL at the moment, uh, what state is it in? How how are you how are you feeling about it at this present moment? Oh, look, I think the game's in such great shape. I mean, whatever, however you you think about it, you know, when you when you watch, we just talked about we talked about Origin. You talk, you look at where the competition is. So far this year, and you know the teams that are leading the competitions, we go into into final series. Excuse me, it couldn't be better. I think it's in, it's in it's in a great place. I think all the work we've got to do is to reinforce and build around that off the field with me as an administrator and the team, you know, the team that I'm building. Um, but fundamentally, I mean, the game's in a great place. What we've got to do is make it so that you know more people are involved in the rugby league family, and once they're in the family, they really want to stay in the family, and you know, that's a big part of what I'm trying to do. And I think grassroots and you know, country football is such a big part of that, and you know we're pushing pretty hard. But fundamentally, you know, everything I've seen in the last five months tells me that the platform of the game and where we're at is just phenomenal. David Smith, thanks for joining us in the sheds. Thanks so much for having me.